you remember uh, the scenario I walked you through in regards to how we how the apportionments and the tax credits and and uh, how we got here. The short answer to this question for me, the four proposals you just heard, uh, I, I have no problem supporting any one of the four, but here's a but to that as well. We have to do something. And again, we have to have reform and apportionments off the top. We have to have reform in the tax credits. In Oklahoma, we give tax credits away like they're candy sticks. And again, I'm very proud of this delegation. Representative Dunlap, uh, had a bill to uh, clip the wind, wind industry in regards to bringing money into the state. Uh, Senator Daniels uh, was co-author of my particular bill to reduce the uh, credits to the wind industry. I have other bills and others, other initiatives as well and tax credits. The reason why I bring that back up, it's got to be a combination of all three of them. None of us, the three of us, no one really wants to increase your taxes, but we have to uh, fix, repair, correct the situation we're in because this situation just will continue. Even when the economy comes back, we'll still have some of these issues. We have to address the credits, the apportionments, the reform. I'm talking about not doing away with them. We have to have reform with the credits. We have to have reform with the apportionments off the top. And we'll probably have to vote for some uh, increase in taxes. You've just heard the four of them. I will not support all four of them just to, to come up with money. With me and the budget that, that will put before me, it's going to have to have a mix of all three. We're going to have to have reform in the credits. We're going to have to have reform in the apportionments. And if I have to throw in the tax measure in there, I'd be very happy. I say very happy. I, I can and I will support it. The uh, income, the uh, the one on cigarettes, I just, I just, it doesn't even cross my mind. I'd vote for it, even though I know people are frustrated. It'd be, increase the pack of cigarettes to a dollar fifty, but all of that money would go to the health care. Uh, programs in our state, all of that money, and I can break that down for you. In fact, when this is over, one of those numbers, I'll, I'll tell you. But all that money would go to those health-related programs. That frees up $200 million to help us in the budget. If it's the itemized deduction, I can easily go there as well. 20% of our taxpayers at $1.7 million. 1.7 million returns that we've received in regards to that line, 20% of the taxpayers will receive a tax increase. So any way you cut it, there's going to be a tax increase in regards to 20% of um, our constituents. So I will consider all of them, but here's the caveat to that. I will not consider a tax increase unless the budget that's put before me has reform in credits, reform apportionments off the top. It's absolutely imperative that we do that. You just don't want to tax your way out of this. We have to also correct these things that's causing part of the problem of this lockbox money and credits. Again, of the $70 million of the, of the uh, ad valorem reimbursement that we're going to put in our budget, $40 million of that goes to the wind industry. $40 million that we're going to pay to the wind industry. That's just one of the many credits that we have. I'll stop there because there are many of them, but that is the big ticket item. The refundable, <coughs> the refundable on win alone is costing us about $60 million. We have to have reform in all three of these areas. So I will consider each and every one of them, but mine has a caveat, as I said, I'm repeating, but I want to make it clear. It has to be uh, all of these three components that I've just talked about to put this budget together. 